Rivers shape the earth. Rivers and streams may not seem very powerful, but they have helped to shape our earth. The rivers sort the sediments by first dropping the bigger, heavier grains, like boulders, down into the riverbed, and then carrying the smaller, lighter grains, such as mud, way out to sea. Rivers carve out valleys, and in some places where there are no trees, they can create really, really cool landscapes like canyons. It's hard to imagine, but it's true. All it takes is one little river with a whole lot of patience. Glaciers. Glaciers form in the very coldest places, like way up high in the mountains, where it's so freezing cold that the snow can't all melt. The snow piles up and forms ice. Thick layers of ice that move are called glaciers. Eventually, the glacier is so heavy that it slowly slides downhill, eroding rocks in its path and carrying them down with it as it slides. Lower down the mountain, when the glacier finally melts, it lets loose all those rocks that were frozen in the ice, and it carves nifty shapes into the land. For instance, Yosemite Valley has steep-sided walls that were carved out by glaciers. Breakdown. Land that is exposed to ice, wind, and water is gradually worn down by them. Here is an example of how it works: chemicals and rain, temperature changes. And any number of other things can eat away at an exposed rock. The rock gets weaker and weaker until it finally breaks apart. This is called weathering. You could say it's called weathering because of what the weather does to the rock. After this, the rock pieces that are made from weathering get swept away by water, ice, or wind. This is called erosion. All across the surface of the earth, erosion is busy happening. Canyons are really cool because they're like giant geological diaries. Caverns by Keisha. <laughs> Geodes by Ralphie. Click. Just click on the bus to start the adventure! Click on the gear shift to find out where this bus can take us. Then, click on the go button to get there. Welcome! Do you feel like helping Arnold find the missing samples from his rock and mineral collection? First, listen closely. There are three kinds of rocks. Igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Arnold is missing one of each, and he's also missing a mineral. Now, check out those four empty spaces in Arnold's collection box. Click on one to hear your first clue about the missing samples. Minerals are the building blocks of rocks, and many of them take crystal forms. Minerals are found all over the Earth. Arnold's missing mineral is biotite. I bet you just might find it. Minerals are the building blocks of rocks, and many of them take crystal form. Igneous rocks form when magma or lava cools and crystallizes. 
They are usually found near land volcanoes or at mid-ocean ridges. Arnold's missing igneous rock is diorite. That's right, diorite. I'm quite sure you'll find it. Sedimentary rocks are made when tiny grains get pressed together. They are found in many places, like canyons, faults, and caverns. Arnold's missing sedimentary rock is shale. Can you bail him out of this predicament? Metamorphic rocks have been changed by heat or pressure under the earth. They are found at faults and places where very deep rocks have been exposed, like the bottom of a canyon. Arnold's missing metamorphic rock is marble. It would be a marvel if you could find it. Let's check out every area for my missing rocks and minerals. When you find a missing sample and fill the space in Arnold's collection, take a crack at another one. Click on a space and listen closely. You can do some really great stuff at the geo table. Click on a rock and move it to the table. Then use the tools to examine it. Click on me if you need help using the geo table. Do you want to examine a rock in the rock box? Use the arrows to choose a rock or some other object, and then click on it to put it on the table. Use the sponge to clean off your rock and get a better look at it. You can use that small hammer to crack your rock open and see if there's anything cool inside. Click on the magnifier to get a closer look at your rock. The magnifier can help you see the details of the rock you're looking at. Click on the return button to put the magnifier away. Do you want to examine a rock in the rock box? Use the arrows to choose a rock or some other object and then click on it to put it on the table. Welcome to the Rock Transformer. You can put stuff into the Rock Transformer and see what kind of rock it's made out of, or you can put a rock in and see what it makes. Use the arrows on the rock box to choose a rock or some other object. Drop it into the transformer 
and watch it go. This rock is untransformable. Sorry. Graphite can be used to make pencil lead.